So let us continue our discussion on word problems on ratio. Now the third example says there are 45 persons working in an office. If the number of females is 25 and the remaining are males, find the ratio of A, the number of females to the number of males and B, the number of males to the number of females. So now in order to find the ratios A and B, we need to know what are the number of females and the number of males. Now let us say that the number of females is F, small f, and we know that it is 25. The number of males I represent by M, we do not know. But we know that the total number of persons in the office, I am just using P, is 45. So we can find out the number of males by simply subtracting the number of females from the total number of persons. That is P minus F or the number of males equals total number of persons is 45, the females is 25, therefore the number of males M it is equal to 20. So M equals 20. Now let us proceed to find the ratio A which says that the number of females that is the ratio of F is to M. The number of females is to the number of males or we also represent F by M. Now we know that the number of females is 25 and the number of males is 20. So we have 25 by 20 or the ratio is simply 25 is to 20. But we need to reduce this ratio to its smallest form. Therefore, we divide the numerator and the denominator by a number such that the entire ratio reduces to its smallest form. By observing both the numerator and denominator, we can divide both of them by 5. So we say 25 divided by 5 and 20 divided by 5. So this gives us 25 by 5 gives us 5 and 20 by 5 gives us 4 or the lowest form of this ratio is 5 is to 4. Therefore the number of females to the number of males is 5 is to 4. Now let us look at B part which says that we have to find out the number of males to the number of females. Well, essentially, we have to find out M is to F. Or we can say that M by F, which equals to the number of males now, it becomes our numerator, which is 20, and females is 25. We divide both the 20 and 25, that is the denominator and numerator, by 5 to arrive at 4 by 5 or the number of males is to females is 4 is to 5. So this is how we solve a problem on ratio. Now let's look at the another problem. Fill in the missing numbers. Now if you see this 14 by 21 equals something by 3 equals 6 by something. Now this is an example of equivalent ratios and we know that equivalent ratios can be represented as shown here. Now let us look at how we can solve this. We can take these ratios in pairs. So we will take the first two terms that is 14 by 21 equals something. Let us call that uh, X capital X by 3 okay because I just don't know something so I'm just using a variable x now we know that in order to find out an equivalent ratio we so that, sorry this is not 12 this is 21 14 by 21 or let me just come up with 21 yes so this is 21 now 14 by 21 equals x by 3 now we know that for a ratio, equivalent ratio, we can either divide or 
multiply one ratio to get another ratio so let's find out the relation between the denominators here so we have done something we have divided this 21 by a number which gives us 3 and what is that number so we know that if I divide this 21 by 7 21 when divided by 7 would give us 3 okay so I should divide 14 by 7 and which will then give me the value of x so if we divide 14 by 7 this will be 2 therefore this x is going to be 2 and therefore the complete thing is 2 by 3 now let us take the other part so we till now we have sorted that 14 by 21 equals 2 by 3 equals 6 by something and let us say that this is y I don't know what is this now again we know that equivalent ratios for equivalent ratios we need to either multiply or divide both the numerator and denominator by the same number so in this case what we have done here is to we can just see these two numbers these two ratios and we say that when 2 is multiplied by 3 we get 6 so when in that case we can multiply this denominator which is 3 again multiplied by 3 so that would give us 6 by 9 okay, 3 times 3 is 9 so the final solution to this would be 14 by 21 equals 2 by 3 equals 6 by 9 and as you can see that these are all the equivalent ratios so we will continue this discussion on word problems on ratio in our next video